Okay, let's go through some of the basics of the trig graph. Let's go through the basics of a trig function. So let's talk about sine. Y equals sine x. The basic sine curve will always start at the origin. Already start at a zero. It will end at a zero. It will have a zero in between. And in between those two will be a max and a min. So the basic sine curve will look like this where this is the amplitude. So what is a basic cosine curve? A basic cosine curve will start at a max. It will end at a max. In between will be a min. And in between those will be zeros. And it will look like this. Well, I'm not able to move. Amplitude is the height well it's basically the height of the curve so it's always measured from the midline up it's always measured from the midline to its peak or from the midline down to the peak now you know you're going to start going up if it's positive, if my sine curve was negative, you'd start down. This would be if I was negative right here. All right, and the amplitude is very, very simple. We'll talk about a few of them as we go through these problems. Uh, frequency is the number of full sine curves in 2 pi. Period is defined as 2 pi over b. I don't know why I have, but midline is the c value at the end. Um, and min and max are C minus A and C plus A. That would be the min and max for both of these. I don't know why I have that on there. I'm just going to keep going. Write a cosine curve that has a period of pi and a amplitude of three. So here's what we gotta come up with. Y equals A sine B X plus C. Now they didn't say anything about a midline, so I won't worry about that. So I need to come up with A and B. Well, A is easy, it's just my amplitude, and it said amplitude was three, so three, oh, sites cosine. Maybe we should be writing a cosine curve. Three cosine X. Now, remember, B, B is my frequency. So B is always the value right here in front of the X. So I need to find out what that B is. Well, I can do that by saying, okay, I know that the period, the formula for period is two pi over B. I need to come up with that B term, but they told us that the period was really just pi. Right? They told us this period was pi. So if we just take pi over one and we cross multiply, I get b times pi is equal to 2 pi. Divide by pi, divide by pi, and I get b is equal to 2. So I know a 2 goes here, and that's it. Let's take a look at this one. Write an equation for this graph. Well, the first thing you need to know about this equation is that it is a sine curve. It is starting at a 0. It is ending at a 0. It has a 0 in the middle. It's, it goes up and then down. So I know this is a sine curve. So that's the first thing. So y equals a sine bx plus c. Now, the c is the midline. Well, the midline's right here along the origin, so that's just zero. It doesn't have a midline. It really has a midline, but it's the x-axis, so I don't need to worry about it. My amplitude is three. So it's gonna be y equals three sine Something x. Now, how many full sine curves does it finish in 2 pi? Frequency, b is the frequency. Number of full sine curves in 2 pi. We'll find 2 pi. There's 2 pi. How many full sine curves did it finish in 2 pi? It only finished a half. 
Okay, so there it is, a half. That's my answer. Ah, we're a little thirsty. All right, so here's my amplitude. Now, you got to be careful. Amplitude is actually 5. It is not negative 5. All that negative means is we're going to go down first and come back up. Now, this thing we really haven't discussed much. This is really called a phase shift. It's really not that necessary to worry about this. All right, so if I distributed this one-third, it would be negative 5 sine one-third x. Now, this one-third x, there's my b value. That means it finishes one-third of a sine curve in 2 pi. Okay, but my period is defined as 2 pi over b. And remember, this is my b value, so 2 pi over 1 third. Now, dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. And I get 6 pi. Now, let's see if that makes sense. If it finishes 1 third of a pi and 1 third of a curve in 2 pi, then wouldn't it finish the full curve in 6 pi? Multiply this by 3, I get a full curve. Multiply this by 3. All right, that's it for that one. What is the minimum height value? So remember, minimum is C minus A and maximum is C plus A. So if I wanted this, this is my C value or my midline. It's my C value. So I'm going to take 4 and I'm going to subtract A. Well, A is 17. Remember, A is my amplitude. So 4 minus 17 would equal negative 13. If I wanted my maximum, I would do 4 minus negative 17, which would be 4 plus 17, which would be 21. So this is my min, and that's what they're asking for. This would be my max if they were asking actually for that. What is the period? Remember, period is defined as 2 pi over b. There's a, there's b. So this is 2 pi over 3. What is the period of this function? Well, here's a little bit of a tricky one. There's really a one-third right there. There's really a one-third right there. So period is defined as 2 pi over one-third. We just did that. That's 6 pi. But that's a tricky one because there's really a one-third there. Be careful. So now we're going to talk about like, ooh, path of the roller coaster. Ooh, path of a blah, 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 blah. Don't get overwhelmed by this thing. This is still A, amplitude. This is still B, frequency. This is still C, uh, midline. So what's the question say? What is the maximum altitude? So max is defined as C plus A. A. So that would be 30 plus 27 or 57. Problem's over with. Don't get overwhelmed by it. Find the amplitude and the period. Well, amplitude is equal to 8. Amplitude is always, always, always positive. Okay? This is B, my B value. So period is equal to 2 pi over B or 2 pi over 7. Done. Period and amplitude. Oop, one to one wrong way. Write the equation for this function. Now, if you're going to write the equation, the first thing you want to find is the midline because you can't even tell if it's a sine curve or a cosine curve until you find the midline. And the way you find the midline is you find the maximum, which is 6. And you find the minimum, which is 2. And you go in the middle. Well, what's in between them? Well, that's 4. There's your midline. So if you'll notice, it's starting at a, a 0. And it ends at a 0. OK, now this is all extra stuff here. I don't really even need this. This is just all extra stuff. I'm going to ignore it. Pretend like I don't see it. Why? You'll see in a minute. So. First, since it starts at a max, or it starts at a zero, ends at a zero, and it's got a zero in between, we know this is a sine curve. So I'm going to write y equals 
sine A sine BX plus C. Remember, this is my midline. So I know that's plus 4. I already know that's plus 4. My amplitude, how much am I going up? I'm going up 2. So Y equals 2 sine something X. Now, did I go up first? Yep, I went up first, so I know it's positive. You don't need to put a positive there, but it is positive. Now, the B is a little bit trickier. So first thing first, period is equal to 2 pi over B. Now, remember, period is the time it takes to finish one curve. All right, so how long does it take to finish one curve? Starts here. And it finishes there, one full curve, up and back down in 12. It took 12. Whatever 12 is, 12 is my period. So if I come down here and I say, okay, I know my period is equal to 12. All right, 12 over 1, we cross multiply, we get 12B equals 2 pi. To get B by itself, you divide. So I get 2 pi over 12 or pi over 6. So this is pi over 6. And there is my answer. All right, let's talk about this one. First things first, find the midline. Max is 2. Min is negative 2. Oh, the midline is right down the middle. So that's pretty easy. It's starting at a min. It's ending at a min. So this is a cosine curve. Y equals A cosine bx plus c. Now, since the midline is 0, I don't need c. But I am starting at a minimum. Let's see, my amplitude is 2. But I'm starting at a minimum, so this has to be negative 2 cosine something x. Now, this one is a pain in the neck. Here's another way to look at this one. How many full, how many full curves did I finish in 2 pi? 1, 2. So remember, B is my frequency. Number of curves in 2 pi. So 2. That's it. I could also use the period. The period is equal to pi. Period is equal to 2 pi over B. Now I know the period. It finishes one full curve in pi. So I go, could go, OK, pi is equal to 2 pi over b, and I could cross multiply. b times pi is equal to 2 pi. Divide by pi, and I get b equals 2. So either way, you can get it right. Two left. Write an equation for this graph. All right, so it's starting at a 0. It's ending at a 0. It's got a 0 in between. That's a sine curve. So A sine B X plus C. Now the midline is still zero, so I don't need a midline. Done with that. And all right, so what's my amplitude? My amplitude is up three or down three. So three, but notice it's going down first, so I know this is Y equals negative three sine. I don't know what I wrote C for. Sine something x. Now I got to finish. How many full sine curves does it finish in 2 pi? Oh, it finishes just one full sine curve in 2 pi. So there's my answer. I could put a 1 here if I wanted to, but there's no reason for that. Wow, this one's a little funky. Write the equation of the graph represented above. All right, so maybe there's just not enough to here. If I was finishing this, that might look like this. Do you agree? I mean, if I was to finish this curve, it would have to look like this. So it's starting at a max, it's ending at a max, and it's got a min in between. Well, that's cosine. And that big black pen. All right, so let's see. So, and my amplitude is 2. So I know it's y equals, and it's starting at a max, so that's positive 2 cosine. 
The midline is still looks like it's right down to zero, so I'm not going to put a plus C, but I do need to figure out what goes in front of that X. So how many complete cosine curves does it finish in 2 pi? Well, if this is pi, then this has to be 2 pi, and this has to be 3 pi, and this has to be 4 pi. So this would be 2 pi. So how many full cosine curves does it finish in 2 pi? Finishes a half. So there is my answer to that question. I think that's it for this. I'm going to do another video on more cosine graphing and sine graphing, and a little, maybe a little bit even a tangent graphing. Because there, this is just kind of basics with period and frequency and maybe writing some sine curves. But I'm going to do some more with this. So there'll be more coming. No worries if you're still a little frustrated with it. There'll be more.